Now listen, this is not the main video. I only added this part, you know, to make sure you get it right. If you are in the market for a light right now, especially if it's your first light, or you're about to go for a set of lights for your project, this is what my advice to you. Having used it, um, the video you're about to watch is more like a first look review, um, just test on right on camera. But having used it after the video that you're gonna watch, I'm here to tell you that if you are looking for a brand new light, get this one. Get this one. If you need three sets of light for your project, get this one, three of them. Um, Aperture 120D, I already own that. If I was shopping for a light now, I would go for three of these lights instead of the one Aperture 120D. I will go for three of this light instead of Aperture 300D. And, and, and the wonderful thing is that the price is, is just right there on point. Now the Aperture 120D, LS, um, the, the one I bought with the complete um, um, package, um, what is it called? Um, Bowen's mount and uh, diffusion and all that was a thousand and three hundred thereabout. I don't know the current price, but that's how much I bought it. But the sixty X lights, they cost right about four hundred and some change. Now, if you buy three of those, you will have right about the amount of the one twenty D. Now, I know this light is not as bright as the 120D. This can be your key light, it can be your fill light, it can be your hair light, it can be your spotlight, it can be your flood light. This light is a no-brainer. It is the first light you should buy if you're in the market. It is the second light you should buy if you're in the market. Unless you want to have two of these and one of the 300Ds. Because you need plenty of light, then I will agree with you. But the 300D will not solve your problems alone. You will need spotlight, you will need hair light. This one will, will do the job of all three. You'll be making a smart decision. Decision Now, when you watch this video, you probably agree with me. But I would love to know in the comments, after you watch the video, let me know if you agree with me. Let's go into the main video, after the intro. Bars. Alright, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're meeting me for the first time and today we are checking out the brand, well not so brand new, came out a couple of months ago, um, new anyway, Aperture 60X and um, I've had it for a couple of, <laughs> for about a month now and I have failed to even review it or use it. Now, I need to explain something to you guys. The office is a mess. Right now, I'm writing my final project in school. I barely can do stuff. But I don't want to give up on the YouTube channel. There's a lot going on. Uh, I just want to be able to do some content. Just hang in there and not, you know, uh, put it on the side and, you know, by the time I'm done, I don't know what will be left of the channel. So, um, I'm struggling here and I apologize for those of you um, that are so used to class um, that are always um, hitting me up with uh, what are you doing. I'm sorry and uh, it will only be for a while and we'll get over I'll fix up this place. Right, me, right now this place is like a warehouse so uh, please bear with me when I turn. I know it's funny to like show you what I'm what I'm, what I'm unboxing here when I could just have an over overhead rig. Apologies once again. So you've probably seen a lot of unboxing. I'll just bring out the items one after the other. Um, there's a 12 month extended warranty. If you, if you sign up, um, I will be doing that. I definitely like that. There's a pair gear um, cleaning cloth. Always appreciate it always needed never never too much and uh, this uh, 
something we are going to figure out i know this is like the power connection it's a different one this time i'm lighting myself up with the uh, aperture 120d mark ii actually and that's been the only aperture product i had for a long time this is now my second this is the main unit and it's um like a spotlight with a lens it's got control it's easy to be dusty from what i see it's just like a lens and you need to watch out for um, lenses just like your camera lens so i will have to yeah i think this guy will start this is what you're here for okay okay now check this out they have a vmat battery mount here which means i can do this oh man i wish i had smaller batteries i don't mm -hmm. but that's the that's the beauty of it i'm not gonna be keeping it in the studio i definitely need it on set um power cable as usual with your red signature okay and this oh d tap okay so while this is there we can connect and these are new connections i've never seen these connections before so which means we can actually test we can actually test it right now who says we have to wait to the end <laughs> we're doing it man i wanted us to test and just see the light turn on let's just uh, get a feel now we have to be careful something with this battery some batteries won't let you uh, put it in without um, uh, put it in the wrong way but this one will allow you put it in the wrong way and if you do put it the wrong way it may blow up your device so you got to line it up uh, positive and negative all right that's the only disadvantage um, with this uh, stuff otherwise other than that it's a very good whoa already here we are the light is on i don't know what percentage so we have a menu so it's like it's upside down right now we're on 560 kelvin and 50 percent brightness okay so 61 let's go to 100 let me put it this way okay so this is a hundred percent brightness that's 30 percent and and this is nine percent okay so um yeah that's tolerable facing the camera yeah, take a look it's got two knobs or three we have a okay this one yeah i'll probably show you close-ups so if you want to spot the light let's see you want it to be spot it has a flood and spot okay so let's go to spot turn it so we are on spot now so the see the light the light is a lot smaller <laughs> you know we can okay so now we can flood it back again and we are out 10 uh, percent by the way 10 <laughs> percent this is nice <laughs> the fact that you could you have lights you know someone on set could actually hold up your light for you if you have to especially outdoors this is this is good this is this should be the format everybody takes now I, I mean i know they copy i know they i know they copy aperture a lot so it's gonna come <laughs> I have a menu here if i push on the menu i see fx mode and how do i go i roll right to get to the fx mode hmm. and if i push in i have paparazzi oh all those effects are here go 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 more light fireworks 
faulty bulb we could go on faulty bulb and let's see how lightning looks okay from outside the window if you're sure if you're doing this from outside then you'll see the effect rightly um, but let's see if we have another type of effect TV oh we have TV all right there is strobe all right we know this one explosion that's a lot fire okay can we flood uh, those fire effect oh yes we can I'm flooding the fire effect now it was on spot so you wouldn't really get the feel but that's good to know that we can we can also adjust those effects back to flood again so now flooded paparazzi so now we have a bigger effect okay so 2700 Kelvin to um, as high as 6500 Kelvin so that's really good even though I don't advise you to go to go as any lower than 3200 this is another thing that I loved uh, when I took a peek at it I was like excited MPF battery this is nice because um, I was already feeling the weight of this stuff, right? So now I can decide to say, okay, let me rock with this guy a little bit. Trust me, <laughs> if this thing, if it wasn't for this cable, I'd probably be using it somewhere else on my rig. <laughs> it's, it's so nice. Oh man, I'm sure some people can convert this. I'll probably be using it on my rig, man. Let's see. Okay, now we have both light, that's it. And it looks like it came brighter. I want to take one off. It drops to 50% with one battery. So, which is useful. <laughs> you want some light and then you could cut the light even further by turning this down. If you want to adjust that spot perfectly. And uh, yeah, yeah, this is very, very good. This is very good. Um, is that all? Okay, we still have something there. Bandos! Bandos! Woo! Portable. Wow, this is some unique design. Take a look at that. This looks real compact. I love this bag too. It's gonna be. I think I'm just gonna keep it in there and rock with it. Flood. Let me flood it to the maximum. Now I'm gonna use this one, not the flood now, not the spot. I'm gonna use this one to shape the light. So let's take a look at the wall and uh, give you, you see that coming up from the bottom? I'm gonna push this one. I'm gonna close the side and this side. So now we have a shape that looks rectangular we could go tighter and close up some more and close up some more this is real control okay this is control now this is even giving me a better spotlight effect than the spotlight itself and we could drop it down we could drop the spotlight um, intensity so that um, oh and it gives me time guess what I see we have four minutes more with this battery. That's good information. Four minutes and the battery is gonna die. It's gonna run out. So I turn it off. Let's see the readout. Wow, that's good. Let's see, readout for this. Zero hours, 30 minutes. Oh, that's what it's saying. <laughs> Zero H30. So that's uh, probably 30 minutes. That's okay for these batteries and meanwhile these batteries are not fully charged so maybe they'll do more and then how swappable um you could swap and keep it going but the good thing is that it will be light it will be light so let's turn this off man i i i, I didn't think this would be much fun i'm having fun i hope you guys are i'm excited of what i can do with this so even the actual direct current uh, 
power also uses the vmap stuff so uh, while the light is here you hang this one and connect to your direct power so everything is going vmap now <laughs> okay one more thing in here and this will be mm. oh there's one more i'll come to this but let's see what is on this side of the box okay manual instructions i guess i'm doing unboxing backwards right okay and sticker and probably a belt yeah that's what it is strap belt for the bag where's the cable all right so this is uh connection and to direct i need a stand for this Very quickly, let's wrap this up. All right, let me see if this thing works. I got it for my Godox 150, um, VL 150. And on location, that fell over. And I thought it landed with its face like this. So I thought this was the only thing that would be affected. But surprisingly, the, the Godox never came back on. It didn't land on the ground on its own directly. It was, you know, on this thing. So I don't understand why it didn't work. So this thing has been funny looking, but let's just see if we can set it up and uh, get it working as a soft box. All right, so, and then I guess I'll lock up here. So it works. All right, ignore my funny shape. I can, I'm sure I can, I'll work on getting that back to speed, but I just wanted to show you that it works. Yeah, turn this on and give it to, get it to 100%. And it's, it's bright, but uh, soft. So it's not gonna look as bright. Let me, let me put it on my face. Okay, mm, ready for this? Mm -hmm. mm, okay, yeah, but that's good. So I'm gonna fix this thing and uh, straighten up the stuff and we know it works. It attaches quite all right and uh, pretty much that is it. So let me take this ugly stuff away. Okay, take this thing out. Ooh, that's bright. No, no, I don't want to get blind. In fact, turn it off. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a pleasure. Um, I know it's a little bit all over the place, uh, but I hope you got the message. I'll give three prizes away at 3,000 subscribers. So don't forget to like, subscribe, so you could be a winner. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.